we want to solve this equation. It says using our graphing calculator. So we're going to do what we've done in the past. We're going to put one equation into y1, the other equation into y2. Eight divided by, and since you have more than one thing on the bottom, either you should use your fraction button to start with or put the whole bottom in brackets so we have x squared plus 1. Equation 2 is just x. I'm going to zoom to a standard window, number 6, and see if we can see where these things intersect. So we got our speed bump graph and a straight line. How many times do those graphs intersect? Only once. We can see it on our graph, so we can go second, calculate number five where they intersect. Curve one, enter. Curve two, enter. Guess, enter. Did that work? No, let's try it again. There. Just drag your calculator screen to your textbook, and you're done. So from this, we're just solving for x. x equals 1.8. That's to the nearest tenth. Again, these graphing calculator solution ones, for the most part on your exam, they want you to do algebraic stuff. So I would think it's going to be highly unlikely that you would get a question like this on the calculator section. But it is nice to be able to use it because it is really quick to solve, a lot quicker than it would be to try to solve this algebraically. So if you want to practice more graphing calculator stuff, you can do number eight.